Hello everybody, good evening. I thought I'd do a little video tonight. I want to talk a little bit about mental health and how for today, probably the first time during this whole period, I've actually found things quite difficult. Like emotionally, I've been a bit a bit down. I've been a bit stressed. I've been a bit frustrated with, with the whole just being indoors. And obviously I went out of Indy for an hour and I kind of get my... Um, energy and I feel calm and then you come back into that environment you're in the you know in your house and your living room and it suddenly just shrinks again and Indy's behaviours you know she's been playing up she's a bit confused by it all and I think I just want to I want to talk about how it isn't just because I'm into exercise and I love my fitness I'm not I'm not invincible I'm not superhuman I woke up today I had a really a really rough start to the day I had a really horrible dream I don't know if you ever have nightmares but I had a nightmare that all my teeth were falling out I've had it before where like you're dreaming and, and your teeth are really loose and then you look down and they're like falling out it's a horrible dream it, it's it does relate to some. I'm not sure what exactly. I'm not into the, the psych, uh, psychology of it, but it's definitely maybe that maybe this the the, the the momentous like the overwhelming feeling of what I've been doing with all these people is kind of caught up in me a little bit. I had this anyway. I had a horrible nightmare. And then I had, then I woke, then I had sleep paralysis. I basically woke up in my sleep and I was screaming as loud as I could. I was trying to wake up. I was like being chased or something, and I was wasn't wasn't I couldn't wake up. So I was screaming and trying to like shake my body up, and I couldn't. Well, I did wake up, but. It was just, it basically put me in this, like, a bit of a down mood this morning. So I woke up, I didn't get off to a good start. Anyway, Indy's been playing up. She's getting super jealous of Marley. She's so, um, she just gets really upset. If I go near, if I go near Marley, if I go near Rosie, she's just like, this daddy, daddy, daddy. And she's confused by what's going on because I think we're indoors. And it's, yeah, I just want to talk about, I was feeling pretty low, but I've just got up and I've, um, I've just done a workout. I can't train. Obviously, this has stopped me from training properly. So I'm not doing pull-ups. I can't do any exercise. Can't do any kind of proper, like in my head, intense workouts. But I've had a little power walk. Um, I've done a few squats and that just to get my heart rate up. And I feel better for it. So it's that thing of however you're feeling, you know, however you are feeling, whether that's low, whether you're feeling anxiety, whether you're feeling depressed, whatever you may feel on an emotional level, like it's completely normal. Everyone out at the moment is going to be struggling, whether you've got kids. And I think with kids, it heightens it because... There's the screaming and the crying and it's intense and you can't really get away and it is difficult. But exercise for me, like instantly, I feel better. My mood's elevated and I'm not worrying about it as much and I'm going to wake up tomorrow feeling more optimistic. I'm going to be positive. I can't control what's going on in my head when I dream and have nightmares, but I can control how I feel because you can change your mental state by changing your physiological state. So by getting my heart rate up, by releasing endorphins, by getting that dopamine going through my brain, suddenly those, ang- those not anxieties, but those, those stressful feelings and emotions and, 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 and lows that I was feeling just suddenly just decreased. And now I feel fine. So I thought rather than just pretend I'm this Superman, it's always buzzing, bouncing off the walls, which I am 90% of the time. I'm really genuinely happy and, and, and excitable. But there is 10% of the time when I wake up and I don't know why I can feel discontent. I can feel like not happy, not sad, just this weird feeling that that I need to kind of, when I, when I acknowledge it, I, I go and do some exercise and I kind of, I snap out of it and I feel much better for it. And I just wanted to share that so that if you are feeling stressed and if you've got kids, I mean, you know, I've got a little bit of space downstairs, but it still feels small. There's toys everywhere. There's two babies crying. It's just, it's hard mentally. That's difficult. And it's challenging to be a great dad. And you've also got to be, you know, cooking and cleaning and, and, and chasing after the kids and doing nappies. And I'm trying to do these lives. There's just a lot going on. And that's going to be for everyone. There's a lot of stuff. It's intense. Mentally, it's intense. And you have to challenge that and you have to acknowledge it. And, and it's okay to not feel buzzing and, and super energetic and hyperactive all the time. But you can, you can help yourself. And two things that really help is the food you put in your body, you know, putting good food in your body where you feel light and energized. It changes the way you feel about your yourself, your mood, and, and can completely change through nutrition. And then the other thing is exercise. You know, it's just the most powerful antidepressant. It can really help. And so use it. You know, you don't have to do my workouts. If you don't like my videos and you don't like my style of videos and training, go on YouTube, Google yoga teachers, Pilates. There's loads of good trainers out there banging out amazing content that could be inspiring for you. Whether it's Calm app, you know, met, uh, Headspace. Like, I listen to a lot of... Um, at night, I type in on Spotify, guided sleep meditation. It just helps me get to sleep. Like it counts down from like 10, nice, calm voices. So things like that really help. Um, but yeah, this is, we're heading into a time where our mental health will suffer just as much as our physical health. It's a given. Like we're all being sedentary, right? We're, we're moving less. We are burning less energy. And as, an, as a result of our emotional feelings and the fact that we're not 
doing as much in the house. I, I, I can almost guarantee we're probably all eating more than we normally are because it's boredom. We're going to the fridge, we're grazing on things, we're hitting the cupboard, we're having extra snacks. Like, I haven't been able to stick to the nightly plan. I'm still eating, I am eating off the plan, I'm eating healthier, and I'm not, I'm not blowing out on food, but I can't, I, I can't stick to it like I wanted to um, as much because of the training side of things. But I'm staying positive, you know. I'm, I've been all right, I've been great. I've been, on a, I've been on a massive high, I've been riding this crazy high all week, and today was the first time because I worked all weekend as well. I just felt, you know what, this is, this is definitely caught up in me and I just need to get an early night tonight, which I can't because I'm doing TV in Australia at 11 o'clock at night. So AM over there. So uh, keep going, keep going, keep moving forward. But I do feel better that I've exercised. I hope that message is, is kind of, has, has helped you feel, feel good about yourself. If you are having a bit of a low day, um, stay positive. This, this time, whether it's a month, three months, we don't know. But you can come out of this stronger mentally and physically if you just focus on putting good food in your body, exercising daily, whether that's my workouts or other people's workouts, um, and also getting a good night's sleep, you know. So lots of love to you all. Stay positive. If you have got kids, you know, I'm having to really just take that moment where I'm just having to like... (sighs) Take a deep breath because in my head, I'm screaming. I'm just saying, please, just leave me alone. But you have to, in, you know, breathe in and, and kind of stay calm. And when you do that, when you realise you can control how you react to a crying, screaming baby, it really changes the way you, you react and it can help you get through stressful situations. I really believe that. So it's a, it's a learned skill. I'm learning to be more patient. I'm learning to just pause. And before I freak out and scream, I'm just like, going, OK, and I'm lowering the tone of my voice and I'm, sitting, I'm getting down and speaking to Indy and trying to understand her. And it just, it's amazing when you start to practice that, that you can learn to be patient and tolerant and you, you develop that skill. It's not saying that I've got naturally um, and I'm learning, right? I'm a dad. And when you've got one screaming and then the other one screaming, you, it's like it's the hardest thing in the world. But then when you just get them calm, you have the cuddles, it kind of you forget about it. And you're like, oh, I love being a dad. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's two things in it. But exercise, keep training, keep fit. And um I really do appreciate your time and I and thanks for your you know your comments and thank you for coming to um thank you for coming to my workout. So have a lovely evening and I'll see you tomorrow morning at 9am. Bye everybody.